Quentin Tarantino is definitely one of my favorite film directors ever. Even though I feel like he's a huge douche in real life, he's a great director. And honestly, I cannot wait to see this film. This movie is called The Hateful Eight, and we've got our teaser trailer today. And Tarantino's done a lot of movies, and I guess only eight? This is his eighth movie? Like, there's a lot of movies that he actually did, so I'm really confused about that. Either way, it's a new Tarantino movie, so I'm excited and I want to talk about it because this is one of most, this is definitely one of my most anticipated movies I've been wanting to see because I remember when they announced he was going to do it and I remember he wasn't going to do it because they got, the script got leaked and all this kind of stuff happening and now it is happening, it is filmed and it's getting post-production right now and we got this teaser trailer and it's 70 millimeter camera. Okay, to all my camera film nerd people out there like me, 70 millimeters, that is literally really hard to do, especially in this kind of generation for movies. With all these new kind of lenses and everything, 70 millimeters, that's old school filmmaking, and that is what intrigues me. But it freaking pisses me off that only select theaters can see that. So the movie comes out on Christmas Day in select theaters just to see 70, 70 millimeters. Then on January 8th, 2016, the movie gets a world art release. So I won't be able to release it or review it or see it till 2016, and it's technically a 2015 movie. So what if this is like one of my favorite movies of the year, and then it comes out 2016, so I can't count as my 2015? That's going to piss me off, and I'm going to try my best to see it in 70mm, because I want to see it like that. Besides all that stuff and everything, let's get to the actual teaser trailer. So the teaser starts off, literally it's snowy, it's western, you can tell, and you see Sam ja Samuel Jackson just sitting on dead bodies, and the music's like, oh, he looks up, and he's like, got room for one more, and you see Kurt Russell and this girl, whatever, who got like a black eye, whatever, he gets in, he's like, Kurt Russell, he's the hangman. If, you, if there was like a poster for one and he's dead or alive, we'll just shoot him and take him up the mountain and be like that. But this man over here, and then Curse looks like smoking a pie with his huge mustache. He's like, this man, he'll he'll take that person alive and he will hang them. And you see him, Kurt Russell and that girl busting the door and he's like, if anyone wants to take this girl, you have come to me to say anything. Because I am going to take this girl tomorrow to get her hang. You see her do this. And it just feels Tarantino, and then it kicks off, and you see all these kind of quick cut scenes, and they're on this cabin, and it's snowy outside, and you see a little gunshot there and there. But overall, in my opinion, this movie looks like these two movies Django Unchained and Reservoir Dogs mixed together. You get The Hateful Eight. These are both Tarantino movies, and another one of his best ones is, of course, Pulp Fiction. These are only like Tarantino movies I own. These are my favorite of Tarantino. And now we're going to get his new movie, which is, it looks good. First off, this movie, it literally, for example, Reservoir Dogs. This is not an action movie. It is based on dialogue and characters. This movie is exactly that. It's going to be that. They're going to be in this cabin with eight strangers or whatever. And the guy from Reservoir Dogs is in it too. Tim Roth and the uh, uh, other guy. You know, by film nerds, you know what I'm talking about, but he, they're both in it and everything, and Walton Goggins, people who love Justified like me, I love the Justified series, Walton Goggins is very underrated, I cannot wait to see him in this movie, because I want, I want to say my review, he deserves to be a movie star, he deserves nominations, Walton Goggins is a great actor, and I can't wait to see him in this movie, because he looks like he's going to be a huge part in this movie, and I'm so excited, but of course one of my favorite Tarantino movies is of course, Pulp Fiction, whatever. I feel like this movie's gonna have dialogue just like Pulp Fiction. So either way, this movie looks good. It looks like a western, kind of good, in the cold winter movie, and I'm excited. I'm excited that it got Kurt Russell, Samuel Jackson, Walton Goggins, Tim Roth, the guy from Nebraska, the guy from, um, Reservoir Dogs, all this kind of stuff. Overall, I'm excited. I can't wait to see it in 2016. But I'm going to try my very, very best to see this in 2015 so I can count as one of my favorite movies of the, of the year. Unless it sucks, which I don't think it's going to suck because it's Tarantino. Either way, I am excited. Please check out the trailer. It's really good. And you can actually see the 70 millimeters in the trailer. And I think he's really trying to sponsor that. And I'm glad he is because people need to see 70 millimeter camera. Look at this movie and look at this kind of movie and you can see a difference and The Hateful Eight is that movie that you can look at and be like, hey, this is different from that movie. I'm excited. Tarantino all the way. So that's another trailer if you haven't done this in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.